Well, good afternoon. We are warming up, even if it does feel a little cool when you step out the door, at least compared to where we were this morning. Check out these morning lows. We got down to 18 in Rolla, 19 in Grand, or rather Langdon. Grand Forks was at 23, so some pretty cold temperatures. Fargo 27, that's hard freeze kind of temperatures. And compared to average for that last hard freeze, well, we're running a little bit behind, but average we know is exactly that, an average of extremes. So there are some dates where the last freeze happens a lot sooner and some dates that it happens later. And we're going into the later time frame here. We're warming things up today. There's a little bit of wind as we see on the Dakota Magic Casino Skycam down in Hankinson. Uh, and conditions are looking nice and bright and sunny there as well. Fargo, 50 degrees right now in Grand Forks. We have a couple of clouds rolling through. We're at 50 degrees there. It's 46 in Thief River Falls in Bemidji. And Fergus Falls in Devil's Lake checking in at 48 degrees with some sun. Sunshine. A look at those winds again. Uh, they are a little breezy. We've got some gusts up to 25 miles per hour right now, but yesterday we saw gusts to 50, so we won't get that high. Uh, there is just a little bit of a breeze. It's a northerly wind, yet again, keeping us cool. The radar and satellite again looking quiet. You can see some of those clouds over Grand Forks and then some over to the east toward Bemidji and down toward Wadena and Park Rapids. Some of those moving overhead. We could see more of that today, but the overall trend will be for some mostly sunny skies. So let's zoom out. It's pretty quiet. We've got high pressure that's taken over. We're going to be keeping an eye out for our next chance for rain for the Dakotas, but not necessarily in our viewing area in the eastern part of the state. Here's a look at that and why. So for today, uh, again, getting that bright sunshine and conditions that are going to be pretty pleasant heading into this afternoon. You may want the jacket, but uh, it is otherwise going to be pretty nice. We're looking at temperatures into the mid to some upper 50s, some of us hitting that 60 degree mark with a May sunshine and wind that continues to be out of the north with some gusts into the teens and 20s. Now later this evening temperatures will start their slide. We'll be back into some 40s with still some clear skies even after sunset and that of course means temperature drop and we're going to see our numbers back down to near freezing especially up north we could drop below freezing again. More likely to have some cloud cover uh, help to insulate us a little bit in the south and west. And that's right where we're going to be potentially seeing some light showers or some sprinkles. The better chance for showers and rain on Saturday will be west of us and south of us. And here's a look at that as we head into further into the day Saturday. Bismarck back down into places like Pier in South Dakota. Uh, we have that potential for some of that precipitation, which is great for them. They really need it. We all need it, but it's good to see at least parts of the region getting some precipitation. This is noon tomorrow. There will be spots like James town, maybe even extending as far east as Fargo and Wapaton and Fergus Falls, where we're looking at more cloud cover for Saturday, more sunshine the farther north and east you go, the farther away from that system that you happen to be. And this continues into the afternoon. You could see some of those green spots on the map getting very close and pushing into places like the Dickey County area. So again, can't rule out some showers for you down in Ellendale. Now heading into Saturday night, more of the same, and it'll be similar on Mother's Day too, where we're looking at more clouds uh, to the south and west and more sunshine to the north and east and temperatures both days running slightly below average some mid to upper 50s all in all not too bad next week though we're really warming things up by the time we get to thursday we could be approaching that 70 degree mark and next chance for rain a slight chance wednesday better bets for rain will not be this weekend but the following weekend so a long quiet stretch ahead of us all right, like in the sun, though. Lisa, thank you. We have some breaking news for you just into our newsroom. A one year old boy is dead after a fire ripped through a home in Reamer, Minnesota, just before two this morning. Reamer is about 40 miles east of Walker, Minnesota. The Cass County Sheriff Tom Birch says the home in Boy Lake Township was fully engulfed in flames and that deputies were able to get one adult woman out of the house safely. But unfortunately, a one year old boy was found dead inside that home. Four others were able to get out of the home before emergency responders got there. The cause of that fire still has not been determined. Still ahead here at noon, what goes up must come down. But when it comes to a Chinese rocker, rocket experts aren't sure where it's going to land.